Today I'm going to show you guys some important tips for becoming a deadly sniper in PUBG on Xbox and PS4. The main topics that we'll cover today are when to actually use a sniper rather than alternative weapon classes. We'll do a brief run through of each bolt action sniper rifle and what sets it apart from the next bolt action. Then we'll cover a plethora of general sniping tips that I use on a day to day basis. With the ultimate aim being to help you guys develop your sniping in PUBG. So when is a bolt action sniper rifle actually a useful and appropriate choice of a weapon? Well part of making this decision will ultimately come down to your current skill level in PUBG. An experienced sniper will be able to effectively use a bolt action rifle over varying distances. If you're new to PUBG and are developing your skills as a sniper, you may be better off starting out with a DMR, such as a Mini or an SKS or an SLR, which are more forgiving options as you get to fire more rounds. A lot of the tips that we're going to cover today can be learned and applied with any long range weapon. So if you're struggling with the bolt action rifles, try a DMR out first until you're feeling more comfortable. Bolt action sniper rifles are an excellent choice in solo matches due to their high damage and ability to instantly end an opponent. Be careful in duo or squad games with having too many snipers on your team. In my experience, it's often better to have a combination of DMRs and long-ranged assault rifles in the mix to allow for more suppressive fire, for example if one of your teammates has been downed. Bolt actions can be used effectively on Sanok, however the smaller map does leave you open to being caught off guard with your sniper equipped, so it may be wise to keep this in mind before whipping out your bolty. Know your rifle. The M24 is a fan favourite of non-crate sniper rifles. When compared to the Car 98 k the M24 shows higher bullet speed, higher damage and less bullet drop off over the first 300 meters. With the ability to extend the magazine to 7 rounds, this is one beast of a rifle. Although the Car 98 k has more bullet drop off compared to the M24 over that first 300 meters, this rifle supports bullet loops to allow faster reloading. For no reason other than personal preference, the Car 98 k with bullet loops is my go-to sniper rifle out of the world spawning bolt actions. The Win 94 is a piece of sh but in all seriousness, this rifle is super fun to use and bound to provide a few laughs. But without the ability to house a scope and inability to one-shot a level 2 helmet, that's about all it's good for. The AWM, the most powerful gun in the game. This bolt action boasts the highest damage and highest bullet velocity, and being the only weapon capable of one-shotting a level 3 helmet, you'd be a madman not to wee a little bit when you come across one. Now before we get stuck into the tips, check out this sniper infographic that I made for your convenience. The images that are shaded in red indicate a kill shot and the percentages show how much damage is done when it isn't a kill shot. You can download the image in the description below. Alrighty, moving on to the general sniper tips that I use in a day to day basis. Centering your sights before you aim down sight is just as important in sniping as it is in close quarter combat. Mastering this skill will allow you to get your shots off quickly and minimize the chance of your opponents lining you up. Also, because you can center your sights without actually facing directly at your target, you can lure unsuspecting opponents into a false sense of security when in fact you're lining up a lethal headshot. On multiple occasions, this tip has allowed me to use sniping to shoot my way out of tricky situations and also to swing gunfights in my favor even when I'm out of position or caught off guard. Sniping moving targets, especially players in vehicles, is a difficult task in PUBG. What I've found has helped me to land more of these shots is to track my opponents rather than lining up a stationary shot. This might seem obvious, but it's taken me 18 months of playing the game to come to this conclusion. 
But we've spoken about the situations when a bolt action sniper is actually useful, but you also want to be careful when you decide to whip it out. Pulling out your sniper makes you an easy target for undetected close range enemies. I try and minimize the risk of being caught off guard by avoiding searching for players with my sniper rifle equipped, limiting the times that I equip a sniper when there are numerous hiding or camping spots nearby, be that bushes, tall grass, rocks, so pretty much anywhere on Sanok. Always assuming that someone is trying to line you up. And finally, if you can't get a shot off quickly, re-equip your primary rifle, reposition and reassess the situation, rather than standing and waiting for your enemy to present themselves. In this example here, I hear some shooting off in the distance, and by pulling out my sniper to search for my enemy, I leave myself open to this prone snaky boy. Peeking from cover wisely and unpredictably is one of the most important skills to master as a sniper in PUBG. Your movements need to be reactive and responsive to the movements of your opponent to allow you to consistently win sniper fights. Let's break down this sniper battle I had at the military base the other day. By showing yourself to one side then peeking the other, you can give yourself that extra split second you need to accurately line up your snipe while your opponent readjusts their aim. By taking a few steps back from your cover, you allow yourself to quickly peek left and right without really having to move position. It's also important to always be wary of third party snipers who could be lining you up. By moving forwards and backwards between shots, you make yourself a difficult target to hit from the side. On the flip side, keep in mind that inexperienced snipers can be predictable in their movements. So anticipate likely peeking spots to quickly send your enemies packing. And hey, it's not always the end of the world if you guess incorrectly. <coughs> Try to avoid hard peeking at all costs. As we discussed earlier, hard peeking your enemies makes you a predictable target and gives your opponents the opportunity to line their shots up. The only time that I'm a bit more complacent with hard peeking is when I have a level 3 helmet where only an AWM could one shot kill me. You'll see me using this next tip very often when sniping. Sometimes moving completely out of cover is actually the safer option, as your opponent is most likely lining up where a standard player would peek from. And remember, you want to be unpredictable. By stepping a touch further out, not only are you unpredictable, but you also expose other target areas than just your head. And the realignment that your opponents will have to do will give you that extra moment to center your sights, as we discussed earlier. And this last clip that you're watching here is a nice little segue into the next tip. The next group of tips that we're going to cover refer to when you're in a one vs one sniper battle. In close range sniper battles, the snipe frag is a deadly combo. In my previous video, top 10 pro tips, I covered how to effectively use frags. If you haven't seen that video yet, there's a link in the top right corner now. But anyway, by tagging your enemy with a sniper round and pushing to throw a frag while they're healing, you really leave them with no option but to cancel their medkit and fight wounded or accept their inevitable exploding death. Look at Randy Orton slithering. Oh, watch, like out, watch, out, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out! Of course, when applying this tip, it's important to make sure that your sniper round actually connected with your opponent. You can see that I make that mistake here, but damn, that was close, right? Doing a quick aim down sight scout is an effective way to identify your enemy's position, but also bait them into taking a sniper shot as they think that you're stopping to shoot at them. What this will do is provide you with a perfect opportunity to preempt their peaking spot and line them up while they chamber their next round. The next thing to take into account is that regardless of how zippy and mobile your sniping enemy is, they will also have to be stationary to accurately shoot at you. Use this knowledge to your advantage by anticipating their brief pause in movement. If you've applied the steps we've already covered, you should be one step ahead and able to get your round off before your enemy. This tip also applies when you're the third party in a sniper fight. Wait for them to pause and line up their shot before you take yours. Also, consider other times when players are less mobile, such as vaulting over rooftops or through windows and landing after jumping from height. Try your best to stay calm. I know this is easier said than done, 
but having a confident calmness will allow you to line up a deadly snipe more accurately. It will also instill fear in your opponent. Remember that sniping is partly a mental battle, and personally, if I tag someone and then they calmly turn around to snipe at me, I'm probably a bit worried, and rightfully so. A good strategy is one of the most important parts of being an effective sniper in PUBG. Be a sneaky sniping snake. Predict your enemy's movements and circle rotations. For example, the need to use a vehicle to get to the zone, needing to push across an open field, or being caught in the blue zone where they're less likely to want to engage in a sniper fight. Scout for peaking spots, especially during late game or when you're pushing into the zone late as people are likely waiting for you. Top story building windows and cliff faces are common areas for snipers to hang out. And finally, maneuver, reposition and use your surroundings to your advantage. Remember, the less predictable that you are, the more deadly you're going to be as a sniper in PUBG. Wow, that was a big one. I hope this helps you guys to become better snipers in PUBG. Remember, if it does, give the video a like and consider subscribing to the channel. Also, thanks a bunch to those who have sent in clips for my subscriber series. If you still want to send in your highlight clips or gameplays, there's a link in the video description. That's going to be one of my upcoming videos, so get your clips in quickly. But anyway, thanks so much for watching, take it easy everyone, and I'll see you guys next time.